Alex. Jimmy Johnson has a new ally for his racing career as it was announced a couple months ago that Ally Financial will sponsor his number 48 Chevrolet Camaro, replacing longtime sponsor Lowe's. The deal will see Ally sponsor all races plus the non-points events for both the 2019 and 2020 NASCAR Cup Series seasons. Now yes, I know you guys are going to complain about this video coming out now. Oh, this was announced a couple months ago. Why didn't you do it then? The reason why I saved it for now is finally the paint scheme has been unveiled and we have a juicy reaction coming up on this YouTube premiere. As get out the candy and soda of your choice as this is going to be a good video. Now, before we get into that aspect of the video where we go over the paint scheme, we have to look at Ally Financial and their history in NASCAR. As one thing that's surprising and rather interesting about the company is that they are not a brand new sponsor to the sport. Back in 2004, the company was known as GMAC, which was the sponsor for Brian Vickers when he drove the number 25 Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolet Monte Carlo. During GMAC's tenure with Brian Vickers, they only netted one win, 10 top fives, 23 top 10 finishes, 528 laps led, and an average finish of around 20th. GMAC's only win in the NASCAR Cup Series ironically came at the expense of Jimmy Johnson, as the two teammates made contact in turn three, which spun out Dale Earnhardt Jr. as well. After 2006, however, GMAC decided to leave the sport and Casey Mears took over the 25 car from Brian Vickers, bringing National Guard sponsorship with him. As GMAC's tenure in the NASCAR Cup Series as a whole was rather disappointing, as Vickers was a talented driver and he even won a Grand National Championship with the company on the hood. It was certainly a letdown, for sure, in 2010, the online bank decided to rebrand into Ally Financial. This rebrand was interestingly enough around the same time that City Financial rebranded into One Main Financial, which sponsored Elliott Sadler at the time in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. So anyways, now it's time to analyze this multi-year partnership and what it means for the future. In the short term, this is a great move for Jimmy Johnson and his career going forward. No longer does he have to worry about sponsors and financial backing, an issue that has ended the career of fellow veteran Matt Kenseth. Ally Financial is going to fund this team for roughly the same amount of money that Lowe's did and sponsor all 36 races. And this is certainly a plus for the race team. Jimmy Johnson can continue to pursue his quest for a record-breaking 8th NASCAR Cup Series championship and become the greatest driver of all time. Unlike the Vikings, the purple colors will hopefully give him some good luck and we can see Jimmy Johnson wind up the clock and break his year-long winless streak in the process. Not only does this move help Jimmy Johnson in the short term, but it will likely help the 48 at Henrik Motorsports in the long term. This move could very well play out similar to HMS sponsor Nationwide Insurance when they indeed sign a multi-year deal with Dale Jr. Just think about it, a big time sponsor in Nationwide Insurance, one that has huge celebrity endorsements such as Brad Paisley and Peyton Manning, they decide to join the most popular driver and they become a staple name with Dale Jr. and they decide ultimately in the future to remain as the primary backer of the number 88 team when Alex Bowman gets behind the wheel. So far, the cards are aligned for Jimmy Johnson to possibly step away from the NASCAR Cup Series when his contract expires with Hendrick Motorsports in 2021. After all, we've seen a new perspective from Jimmy as he has flirted with IndyCar and IMSA races in the near future and he recently completed a seat swap with F1 legend Fernando Alonso in Valerian. While a lot could change from now until 2021, this is likely the path for seven time after his Henrik Motorsports contract, especially if his performance on the racetrack in NASCAR continues to falter off. With that said, however, I expect that Ally Financial will likely keep their investments in the race team, 
even with a big name such as Jimmy Johnson leaving the sport. More than likely, Hendrick Motorsports will bring up another talented driver into that number 48. And Ally Financial, while they might reduce their sponsorship a little bit, maybe about 15 to 20 races, I would expect that they would stay involved because the future is bright within Hendrick Motorsports. You're at the highest level right now. You're at the best team, or it should be the best team in NASCAR, even though they've kind of faltered off in a couple years. There's a lot of hope within the organization, and I think Ally Financial will ultimately stay within the organization instead of branching off and leaving the sport. While the problems behind the scenes have been solved, one piece is still missing from the equation, a brand new paint scheme. Over NASCAR's 70 year history, a staple factor has been the colors and designs that have graced such beautiful stock cars. Designs that show personality among the drivers behind the wheel, as well as the sponsors gracing the hood. Superman Jimmy Johnson the had the iconic color of Lowe's for 17 seasons, and the designs on the 48 looked absolutely fantastic during the dynasty, besides the Lowe's for pros scheme, but that season was just a fluke. With a colorful company like Ally, the purple and pink color palette should mix in well with the iconic 48 yellow and maybe a hint of black or gray here and there. In addition, the Ally swoop should create an interesting and new design that re-energizes the race team for the upcoming season. It is going to be a breath of fresh air for the 48 and Jimmy Johnson's career, and it will erase the failures that the Lowe's for Pros scheme brought us last year. Absolutely nothing is going to ruin the momentum and the hype of the Ally 48. Here we go. Oh my goodness, you screwed it up. You guys absolutely ruined the perfect opportunity to make a first impression in NASCAR. In my personal opinion, this car is a hideous dumpster fire that is an eyesore to even look at. My goodness, where do I even start with this design? First off, you have an absolutely ugly hood design that looks atrocious. So you have the Ally logo in multiple different forms and colors surrounding the center logo. While I don't mind the pinkish designs, the white outlines, they look absolutely abysmal and they kill all the momentum they were trying to get with this design. It looks like the Ally logo was just stretched out and it looks horrible. Next up, we have an attempt to create racing stripes that easily get lost within the cluttered hood logo and extends through the Ally L on the deck lid and the roof sponsor. Seriously, this is utterly lazy. I mean, if you wanted to do a racing stripes design, get rid of all the clutter on the hood and then just put two purple stripes and then put the basic Ally logo over the two purple stripes. It's not rocket science. How about that eye-catching purple and pink swoop on the side? Nothing wrong with that. Now, in my opinion, this is the best aspect of the entire paint scheme, but at the same time, it is also the most useless element and it is misplaced on this car. Had they added this element right before the right rear tire, or if they would have added it maybe towards the top of the car, onto the A pillar or the B pillar, it would have looked acceptable. But on this, on this design, the flame-shaped element is just simply there. It has no purpose. It just comes, it swoops down, and that's it. The most misplaced element of the entire paint scheme. Finally, for a company that's primary colors are purple and pink, why is the entire background of this car black? I mean, I wouldn't have minded if they would have had purple maybe on the hood and through the top, you have pink racing stripes and then you have black on the side. That would have looked absolutely slick. Now, the reason why they have to have black around the 48 is because a couple years ago, they got rid of the black outline around the yellow number whenever they brought it back for Jimmy Johnson. The decision doesn't make any bit of sense because Jimmy Johnson has had the black outline around his number 48 for decades with Lowe's and they randomly decided to get rid of it. 
Possibly it could have been because Jeff Gordon, it was a main staple of his. But even with that, it's still on William Byron's car. I mean, if they would have just put in the black outline, they wouldn't have this dilemma of having to make the black a centerpiece around the 48, and they could have designed a great paint scheme. That is just one of many elements on this race car that makes it a huge disappointment for new sponsor Ally joining the sport and for Jimmy Johnson trying to create a new legacy. So the bottom line, while it's great to see a company re-emerge to sponsor a seven-time champion and for the entire 36 race schedule, which is impressive in today's NASCAR, Ally Financial's momentum has been ruined with an abomination of a paint scheme. They use the perfect colors of purple, pink, and black, as well as the yellow 48, and they still manage to create one of the ugliest designs in recent memory. Everything from the stretched out hood logo, the colorful design on the front wheel, the purple racing stripe, and the emphasis on the black as the only background color makes this car an absolute monstrosity. Nothing works well on this number 48 design, and it is just a cluttered mess, and it looks rushed together at the last minute. Hopefully in 2020, Ally Financial can create a better paint scheme for possibly Jimmy Johnson's final NASCAR Cup Series season, and they can erase the memory from 2019 because, oh boy, this car is not good at all. So anyways, this is NASCAR Racing Fan 2015 signing out, and just remember, life's a beach, and then you drive. On the inside.